Hi folks and welcome to today's video. As you can see, I'm in BGC and over the last couple months, I've embarked on about four series. I went across Laguna and Tagaytay on a motorbike. We then went to Boracay, hit up Cebu, and my last series was in Palawan. But I'm not gonna be hanging around in BGC for too long because I'm about to set off on once again, another road trip on the motorbike but this time we're going to be exploring the north of the Philippines, the main island of Luzon. We're going to be passing quite a few places along the west coast all the way up to the north of Luzon and then coming all the way back around through the middle of it to finish off in Manila. It looks like this might be a two week travel series possibly because there's a lot of things to see and a lot of places to hit. And this is going to be my longest travel series that I've done to date on the channel. The route in itself is estimated to be about 1,200 kilometers. And today is the first day where we begin this series. Yes. We're gonna be leaving BGC on the motorbike and we're gonna try and finish up in today's video in an area called Subic. It's about four hours away from Metro Manila and it's northwest. Oh, it's going to be quite a journey. The time is around about 2.30 p.m. So I'm probably going to be arriving at my destination about 6 or 7-ish. mayhem but well, let's see how it's today traffic doesn't look too bad all right let's get on with it let's try and clear Edsa as quickly as possible and we're taking a right on this roundabout here where there's SM Hypermarket. Don't know the name of that roundabout there but there was quite a significant monument. And I think now we're going to be passing through some towns along the way until we get to Subic which is going to be like this maybe the entire way for the next one or two hours because it's the only main road that cuts through the town. This is supposed to be like a highway but Jeepneys use it, tricycles use it little motorcycles like mine also use it and therefore there's a lot of congestion you see we're only doing about 20 kph right now these type of roads don't typically tend to be fun but they're quite convenient in the event that you need to grab something because there'll be like a convenience store a mechanic store all right we're passing through a town called valenzuela and there's an sm supermarket on the right there yeah i think we've pretty much left manila and i was commenting that there is no other road to go through these little main towns but there is the NLEX which you can't take and it looks like there's another road being constructed as we speak I'm not sure if this is a road or a motorway that's going up or if it's an extension of one of the metro lines but it's going up slowly but surely in the meantime we've got to put up with this I need to pump up the uh, the tires on my motorbike. What the hell? There's a rooster. There's two roosters out here. Oh yeah, no, nobody's inside. Close down. Anyway, where can I pump my tires? 
Anywhere around here, PTT? Nope. Nowhere to pump your tires. Ah, oh. oh, here. But what is going on with this PTT? I don't know. Wow, banana, banana. Fresh banana. Melons. Skewers. Wow, this is Papango, right? The traffic here is madness. My goodness me. I might as well step on the side here and have some street feet. And the road is so dusty and slippery. Whoa, oh, I remember this road. I remember the left portion of this road being very, very broken up. Oh my God, there's so much sand on the floor. The particular location I'm in is a place called Apalit, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled A-P-A-L-I-T. And this is one of the earliest towns you will encounter once you enter the area of Papanga. Google Maps is telling us to make a left down this side street. Look at it. It doesn't really look like a main road that we should be taking to go to Subic. Let's follow it anyway. Over a little bridge we go. Across the river. What on earth is this? Mega World Capital Town. I think we need to check it out because it looks like a major development here in the area of Popanga. Capital town. Well, it looks like this area is at the very early stages of development. Seems as though there's a lot of rebars and buildings going up, but none of them are really fully complete. However, right in the center of this capital town are quite a few food stalls, which I'm surprised to see. And some chariots. Well, you see this McDonald's behind me? Apparently it's the biggest McDonald's in all the Philippines here in Papanga. And it's composed of this building here, which has got a connecting bridge to the other building there. And then across it, under this clock house, is the McCafe. Let's take a look inside the biggest McDonald's here in the Philippines. We are... Hello. Well, there's certainly a lot of space.
Man, we've been driving for the past three hours. We've only got 45 minutes left, but I need to take a break, drink some black coffee, and uh, watch the sunset. <laughs>